What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Boy, do I have something exciting in this video. So number one, you guys have been seeing my teaser clips of that billet swing arm right there. We're gonna put it on my CR500. Let's take a closer look at this awesome swing arm that we created. Guys, so we've got the long awaited billet swing arm here. Now this is actually a custom modular design. working really hard at getting this thing uh, basically brought to life. Now it took a lot of CNC equipment to make this happen. So I'm gonna insert some clips right now of what that looks like. So we started off by using our five axis mill to make the center spine section. We've also got some uh, different pivot tubes on here. So these are set up for the modern 21 and up chassis. So with this modular design, we're gonna be able to actually swap out our linkage our pivot tubes and use similar design sides on all of the swing arms that we make. Now every single bike is going to be slightly different in terms of these parts. Now our goal is to keep the center spine similar and of course the side tubes. Now let's go back to the CAD drawing. So you guys are going to see the custom nameplate on here to cover up the hardware. Now again this is a modular design. So we've got this cross piece actually sitting into a pocket. We've also got some bolts holding it together along with four dowel pins. So that's gonna hold all the load on the swing arm. It's gonna keep this thing super strong. It's gonna stop any twist. Now, to make this thing a modular design, we did this because if we were to make this all out of one piece, the slab of aluminum that we would have to machine would take the price of this and the weight of this and send it through the roof. We would be wasting all of that material. So we broke this swing arm down into a couple side pieces. We've got the center spine and the two, the two pivots up front. Now, we've also added some provisions for a chain guard. So I'm gonna go back to the CAD drawing and show you guys what that's gonna look like. Nice billet front guard up here. The way we have this design, we actually simplified the chain adjustment. There used to be a nub on our old swing arm where you would take the adjuster out and rotate it. You can simply just take the bolt out on each side now and do your jack shaft adjustments. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you're probably wondering what you just stumbled upon. So we make big wheel kits for modern dirt bikes. We have these for just about every modern bike right now, right down to the 110s. One times have been extremely popular. Now, of course, extremely popular means we've actually had longer lead times and you guys keep us super busy. So the only way I could make this a reality to where you guys can get these within a week or two is go bill it. Now, this is nothing against our fabricator and welder. He makes some of the most beautiful TIG welder parts I've ever seen and uh, his stuff holds up, but it's tedious. It just takes a while. So go and bill it is gonna speed the whole process up. You guys are gonna get a higher quality part, a stronger part, and we now have the ability with the split design. Let's say you guys, I don't know, crash your bike. Maybe you break this section here or you have a seized bearing, something breaks in the front. We can simply just send you guys out a replacement piece for this swing arm. What I mean by that is when we're machining all these parts, I'm gonna keep these stockpiled in stock in inventory. So again, if something happens to where you guys need a replacement part, I mean, we're always running our mills every single day. So we've always got Tons of parts coming off of these bad boys, and uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna allow us to actually build inventory with these, which just simply was not possible with a welded part. Now, again, Drew's been just crazy busy welding these things over the years. He's done an awesome job, but I want you guys to get these faster. I don't want you guys waiting for weeks and weeks anymore just to get an awesome part. Now, again, this is because of the amount of orders we've been getting. It's not that we don't do this every day. We are wide open welding, shipping, and just grinding away, getting you guys your orders. All of our hubs are done in billet. You guys can see this is kind of what you're going to see with the swing arms. We're just going to have these things on the shelf. We're going to basically be able to box them up as soon as the order comes in and get them shipped out to you guys. Now, if it is something, for example, that we don't have in stock, like a rare bike that we don't sell all the time, with the CNC machines, we can run up like 15 to 20 swing arms in a week, which is freaking wild because right now we're honestly putting basically one out a day. Um, so we're going to go from, let's say, four to five swing arms in a week up to 15 by going with billet. It's just crazy. And I know I'm sounding repetitive in this video, but I'm really trying to get my point across and just explain to you guys why we're making these changes and uh, the actual improvements that you guys are gonna see and feel in the future. Here's a look at how we run our triple clamps. Our CNC machines will basically just pump these things right out all day. We keep all the billet, rotor adapters, all the triple clamp components in stock, ready to ship. This is the best way to go, guys. 
Now, this isn't to say that we're not going to be offering a handful of our swing arms still fabricated. So right now, our 110 swing arms are going to continue being fabricated. We do plan on, however, transitioning all the big bikes over to billet. It's just going to speed everything along for us. It's going to get you guys happier. I don't like making you guys wait anymore. I appreciate the support over the years. I mean, we've just continued to grow with uh, everything we're doing. Got an ATV style swing arm right here. Those are gonna remain being TIG welded, of course, and fabricated. But uh, anyway, guys, so let's get back to the video. Let's go ahead and uh, get this kit installed on my bike. I'll, I am curious to see how the swing arm is gonna fit. You guys are gonna check it out for the first time with me. I love, I love filming uh, all this stuff as it happens. It's really just another milestone in the business. It's gonna be another memory that we're gonna look back on and be like, man, remember the time when we transitioned over to billet on our swing arms? And on top of that, guys, we're trying to you know, we're trying to keep the quality the same, if not better, than what comes on the bike. That's uh, a nice uh, cast aluminum swing arm. Obviously, Honda welds them together, but we're very excited to show you guys what we can do with this. Uh, another thing I did not mention: these are going to be lighter weight than the fabricated ones, and uh, we're actually going to be able to ship these cheaper all over the world because they do come apart. You can put this in a smaller box and. Uh, Again, there's a lot of benefits going with this direction, so let's get it on the bike. Well, that wasn't too bad. Now, if you guys are wondering about this actual bike, so for the 21 and up chassis, we do a billet bolt-in kit. The billet cradles on each side, fabricated head stay, which is soon gonna be billet, and a fabricated intake, which we're gonna come up with a faster way to do that too. So we took a CR500 motor, bolted it right into this chassis, different radiators, all with our kit. But yeah, guys, let's uh, check out this uh, new feature on the swing arm. So we're able to just use the factory bolt. No longer do you have to hold the head. We basically just mimic the factory swing arm and uh, allow them to use a higher quality bolt instead of the one we were sending with our fabricated swing arms, which had a head and a nut. So just trying to make everything easier as we go and improve. That's our goal. We just wanna always improve our products. All right guys, time to put some pivot bearings in. Now I'm gonna show you the benefit of this swing arm. I'm super excited about this feature. Now anybody who's ever pulled swing arm bearings out of a swing arm, being that this is stuck in that position, it makes it a lot harder to work on. So I'm simply gonna unbolt these bad boys and uh, just use a vise real quick, pop the bearing in and put it on the swing arm, get it installed. There's a lot of features that this actually keys into. This all went into the design. It's so basically slips in. Got hardware holding it in that direction. We've also got two more bolts that go all the way through. Lock it that direction. And it's also got the wraparound design. This thing is not going anywhere. Super excited on it, like I was saying. So let's go ahead and put some bearings in. Now that we've got the bearing started, I'm just gonna push it in the rest of the way with the socket. Make sure when you're doing this, if you guys ever have to change these out, put some rags in your vise. Protects the billet, keeps everything looking nice. Let's continue on. Got a nice alignment here. 
and cut out to match up to our front chain slider. Slips right on the swing arm. We've got one pinch bolt right here. There it is guys, like I was saying, that was my first time installing it. So you got to see how it fit first test. And I can say my 3D scanner did an awesome job because this thing fit absolutely perfect. Again, this will be covered up with a nice nameplate. You're not gonna see any of that hardware. We've got our billet hub that we currently run on all of our big wheels on here. Just wanna show you guys what it looks like. Super happy with it. We were able to actually bring this dimension in a little bit and back just to get a little bit more clearance for your foot that was one complaint on the old ones the chain guard was a little bit tall so being that it's again made out of billet so we're going with the billet front chain guard too we're able to actually bring it over and bring it back so this is where the jack shaft is going to sit but yeah overall everything fit really nice all the dimensions are identical to the front pivots um, of course our fabricated ones were too but i assure you guys the tolerance on a billet part is unbelievable Super pumped that uh, this thing's got a complete billet rear end. So stay tuned for the next uh, next video. We're gonna get the front end installed. You guys have already seen plenty of those videos. So we're gonna speed right through that one. Um, the main talking point on this video was showing you guys this new rear end design. So stay tuned again, as we get the front end on, we're gonna get this thing on the ground. So yeah, guys, in the next video, we're gonna get this bad boy on the ground, get it buttoned up. You guys are gonna see it in complete big wheel form. Now you guys are probably wondering, I thought we already did this to this bike. Yes, we did. Last year, or God, it might have been two years ago. It's been times we've just been flying. I can't even keep up. This was a big wheel before. We converted it back to a normal dirt bike. Uh, Blake Wharton was supposed to do a test. Now, the number one test he wanted to do was the bolt-in kit. So, I think we're going to kill two birds with one stone. And we're going to get Blake on this bike in the future as a big wheel and test the bolt-in kit. Because he's super curious how this bike's going to ride. But for now, when this thing's back together... And we've said this before, we're gonna get Drew on it. I'm gonna talk him into it. He's uh, he's gonna ride a 500. We're gonna let Drew beat the crap out of it, torture test this swing arm. If you guys want any more info on this swing arm right here, this crazy CNC work of art right here, I just can't believe it's even on the bike, to be honest with you guys. You have no idea the hours and hours of uh, CAD drawing and design to get that done. But again, if you want any more info on it, head over to bbcbigwheels.com, sign up to our email list. We're gonna send you all the info. See you guys in the next video.